My name is Raps and welcome back to Slay the Spire Modded. We're going to be going with the defect again. Not A1. Are you kidding me? A15 at least. Uh, 18 damage for 250 gold. I kind of do like that. Get myself some early, early power. Hit this, then cut across. Go for the Emerald Delete. Late shop. Two midline rests. Two midline rests, late shop, emerald delete. I don't know if I'm into that. I kind of prefer this one. Three midline rests, two elites, no shop. If only there was like a connection here, that would be the right path. I just go ba -ba 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 -ba, jump in and out, and then all the way up here. Oh, it'd be lovely. I'm going to take my gold. I'm going to take the safer of the debated paths there. I need to give the build some time. I need to get the items so that I can win the elite fight so that I can win the game. That's a full stop. Sounded like it wasn't going to be it, but it was. Self-repair. Hell yeah. Do like that. Upgrade two random cards. 21 HP. Sure. Make all strikes and defense ethereal. Uh, eventually our deck will just be zap, dual cast, and self-repair. Hell yeah, let's go. We did get the relic eventually. Geo, the first time you lose HP each combat, trigger the passive ability of all of your orbs, of all of your channeled orbs, rather, and channel one crystal. Uh, okay. So I can probably end this fight with a bit more HP. Mm, nice. Yeah, it would be self-repair, dual cast gets me. Beautiful. Take the power potion here, charge battery. Sure, we're incentivized to pick it up as well because it's one of our quests. Right, now here I'll rest. We got a double upgrade before and a relic, right? So effectively consider like, oh, I used the campfire Instead of losing HP in those events, I use the campfire to get a relic as well as upgrade two cards, which is obviously horrifically efficient. Uh, choose a type of orb. Anytime you channel an orb, channel the chosen type instead. Buffer, prevent the next time you lose HP. That's uh, probably buffer. Then we double defend, buffer, strike. Unfortunately, with all of these ethereal cards in the deck, we're going to have to play the strikes like constantly. We could, we could have some real difficulty in this combat. See, I don't want to lose the upgraded strike here, but if I don't play this defend, then I will actually take the down... Oh, no, I have to. I have to play the strike. So I only saved 3 HP with the buffer there. Okay. It's possible we live through this fight, but gosh, it's not overwhelmingly likely, let's say that much. I was obviously looking for an offensive card before this point, but it didn't really come for us. Uh, yeah, we're just like straight up dead here. Nothing I could do. Well, nothing I could do at that point at that turn. Obviously, veering off to a different path, taking different things earlier. Those kinds of things could be done differently, but I really, really, really wanted to actually hit those elites. And it's just unfortunate that we didn't really find any good cards before then. Maybe I need to consider more highly in the early game going to normal fights rather than question marks. I highly prioritize question marks, but I guess, you know, I, if I haven't got a card yet to really fight with, I'm going to take the random colorless uncommon. Oh, sure. Impatience. That's really good in a deck that is mostly focused on generating orbs. Yeah, it can be really nice in that deck. Fifty-fifty. Hey! One of those 50-50s had to work, uh, work out rather for us one day, and it just so happens that on this day, Uh, more than happy to take a chill here. Hmm. Ooh, Pendib. Every 10th attack you blade, it'll double damage. Lantern, start each combat with additional energy. 
Okay, do I hop across? Because that was the plan. Yeah, I definitely hop across. It's way better line. Uh, heal 16 or remove card from the deck. I'm going to go for the heal 16 here. Just because elite is the emerald elite as well. Very, very, very pleased for it to be this combat. Just because chill is in the deck. And chill is particularly handy here. Wow. Chill is the very bottom card of the deck. All right, then. Go off, I guess. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know I could defend more that turn. It's important that I get one of the front or back down as soon as possible, and, and we're not just getting it yet, so... Kind of need to use what I have available to me. I don't want to dual cast to... No, I should, because I... Okay, so I didn't want to dual cast because I can't get any other sources of Frost Orbs in the deck right now. I just had the chill, and the chill is already exhausted, obviously. But I knew that if I drew Zap, I was definitely going to play Zap, so I may as well evoke that orb at that point. And that's exactly how it ended up turning out, so... Works for me. All right, give me the double defend this turn. Strike, double defend, strike, double defend, strike. Single defend, no strike. Not exactly what I was asking for. In fact, not at all. In fact, how dare you? Okay, so I can go 12, 18. I can do 18 to a single target here, obviously. No. Come on, strike to the next hand. No, strike. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. That's a lethal. All right, we got three centuries for a random rare relic. Cool. Uh, but there is also the Russian blue paint. You can now smith curses. Smithing a curse removes it from your deck and upgrades a random card in your deck. Okay, cool as hell. Uh, what's the word for when you know in your heart everything in the world is going to be all right? I wouldn't know. And uh, panic button disconnect aggregate. Um, I'll take panic button, I think, there. And then pick up my sentry reward. Okay, bandana. Uh, gain two thievery for the first three turns of combat. <gasps> oh, hell yeah. Bloody idol. When active, bloody idol gives temporary HP instead of healing. Dope. Um, okay, obviously got to upgrade that zap. Still looking for an offensive card because I got three elites on this path. Claw rake. Hmm. I could go ukulele. That's like a really good aggressive card. So I'd take ukulele hologram. Ukulele being 10 damage for each lightning you currently have channels. Upgrades to 12. So by base, it's 10, right? 10 for one energy is still better than an upgraded strike. But also, I already have a zap in my deck. The zap's already upgraded. So if I take that in the hologram, I can generate a bunch of lightning really early on. And then this is just 30 damage nuke. Um, other than that, the other consideration here is claw rake. It starts, uh, it deals two damage. Uh deals two damage to all enemies as well it grave cool so it starts in your discard pile it counts as a claw it does not increment other claws but it counts as affected by the increments from other claws uh, and it also has startup if your deck has no normal claw cards add one to your draw pile uh, so it means that you can take this without yet having seen a claw Ukulele Hologram, I think, is probably the only way that I live through the upcoming Elites, though. Which is something I'm a little terrified about here. Because Claw Rake, like, deck of 14 cards, so what? Three shuffles to get through my first deck? And then I've got a card that does four and four. It does eight for two energy. Like, I have to play the Claw so many times before... The claw rake is actually valuable. I need to already have some claws in my deck. Despite the fact that it does say, if your deck has no normal claw cards, add one to your draw pile, that's not enough. It builds way too slowly. So I'd have to take this after I already had a bunch of claws in the deck. Hologram ukulele. 
Oh, also the relics here, by the way. Uh, Gremlin food. Whenever you rest, upgrade a random card as well as the ornamental fan. Every time you play three attacks in single turn, gain four block as well as the treasure map. These, uh, there. The map now shows what relics can be found in treasure and elite rooms. Bag of marbles at the start of combat. Apply one vulnerability to all enemies. I'll take that. I want the hologram upgraded. One down. Not bad. Focus potion as well as a claw. I'm a little tempted to take the claw and start seeing if I can get the claw right. I'll zap impatience. I can't panic button, not yet. In fact, I probably just can't panic button in this fight unless I'm literally about to win. I kind of want to claw hologram back the ukulele and play it again. It's enough damage that I think it's still worth doing. Okay, so if I panic button right now, I deal 16 damage. I defend myself for three, right? Because I'm making the enemy stronger by two as well. So I'm defending myself for five minus the two. Uh, so 16 to the enemy. And then I draw one card. So I definitely have lethal next turn. Sure. This defends me for as best as I can this turn. And I know that I have at least two strikes in this hand. Uh, all the smooth stones started combat with one dex as well as a reboot. Probably not, just because if I do end up with Claw Rake, Reboot is going to shuffle the Grave card into the rest of my deck. I'm just going to hard pass it. Actually, I think I'll rest in this position. We got a reasonable time against that Elite, but that's not always guaranteed. Oh, this is a really aggressive opening hand here. Do I do it? That's 30 damage. Yeah, none of my other hands are going to contest that. Like, that's a really good wake-up hit. Sure, I waste two energy, but it's still a really good wake-up hit. Goodbye, Lagavulin. and I've even got the pen nib ready. Hell yes. Mysterious Pyramids. Upon pickup, choose two cards. Whenever you draw one of these, draw the other as well. Obviously, Echo Form. Uh, Mysterious Pyramids. I'm thinking I probably put Hologram and Zap. Just so that I can Zap Hologram Zap. Or I could put Hologram Claw just so that I can Claw Hologram Claw. It depends. You know what? I'm going to Hologram Claw. I think that's going to be better in the longer combats. I'm probably not going to rest before this. Well, I, it looks like I probably should rest before this boss unless I get like an early Echo Form out. What? Oh, no. Did the bonfire crash the game? Hang on. Let me have a look at this log. Yeah, I actually... The game is completely frozen on my screen and also seems to have disappeared uh, from the recording capture. Wow, I actually can't even close the program right now. Damn, this is a, oh, this is a solid crash right here. Okay, uh, let me just quickly, because I have to relaunch this, right? So let me just quickly... Save this text to a document so that I can send it to the right person afterwards. Cool. Uh, and then relaunch. Hopefully that run is still archived in there. That is... Oh, wait. I don't launch it that way. I can launch it through Steam now. Cool. Uh, hopefully that run is still archived in there, right? And I can just make a different choice at that point rather than go back to that same location. 
Uh, although it may have saved at the start of entering that location. And if it has, then I, I fear for the possibility we may have lost that run. That's right, we got so defeated, resoundly defeated by the video game itself. So who does this go to, actually? Let's just have a quick read over this. It is... Ooh, I'm afraid this is a replay. I mean, obviously it's going to have some replay involvement just because of the fact that it... the bonfire space is from the replay mod. Uh, but outside of that, it also just seems to only reference replay. Uh-huh. All right, let's just... Make sure that it loads the right thing here. Okay, so I am getting the button continue. Oh, and we immediately crash. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, this just happens sometimes. That's fair enough. I mean, I'm, I'm literally playing the beta branch with mods installed at the moment so most of the mods are not maintained for the beta branch they're maintained for the main branch so a large amount of this is also probably on me let's be honest typically is frankly that said no this isn't this isn't a situation where i scrap an episode are you kidding me no this is the experience of playing mods sometimes this happens that's okay though we will find another claw run hell maybe i just you know do a15 and dodge all elites on the first floor find a claw rake and then i can actually build from there unfortunately i do have to abandon this run and tab these screens beautiful all right now oh remove two cards if i'm planning on going for a claw build and i kind of am uh da -da 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 -da. there is a path that completely avoids all elites and has a bunch of fights you know what yeah, unless I can snipe two elites. Can I snipe two elites? I cannot snipe two elites. Okay. So I'm going to go for the double removal there. I'm going for no elite fights this entire floor. Just looking for the claws. Hell, we actually might get to use Angry Boy. I know it says Angry Bot, but... Angry Boy, though. Also, it has a dog on it, of course. Of course I'm going to say boy. Uh, cool Headed is really good in a claw build. Do I want to go to an early shop? See if I can pick up a claw? Yeah, I kind of think I do. I've got to see as many cards as I possibly can this early. Just so that I have an easier time with it. Easier time getting that claw build together. It's especially worth noting that it's going to be a little more difficult here to get... Oh, wow, I did screw myself. I should have zapped before I did the... Uh, before I did cool, uh, cool Headed last time. I would have had to kill that turn if I had. But because of the extra cards that have been included... Oh, yeah, I take Streamline literally just for the 90 value there. Also, a thin deck can use the Streamline a bunch there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Enemies in elite combats have 25% less HP. And I already have a streamline in the deck. And I get to remove another card. Okay, yeah, now I'm probably actually fighting elites. This is something I obviously was not planning on, but, uh, you know. If the cards fall that way, the cards fall that way. And when they fall that way, they've fallen that way. And that's why we're going to do this like we're going to do this. Any questions? <laughs> uh, Oh, hell yeah. I don't need to take any damage here. We'll be fine. Bye-bye, Rosebush. Hello. Not taking any of those, actually. I want to keep the deck relatively thin here if I can. All right. That was really, really, really poor. Bad opening hand. Bad time. 11 really it has to do 11 damage just like couldn't just uh, 
All right, now we can actually get through this. I don't like that I'm literally constantly weak here as well, but with two fat gremlins, there was no way around that. All right. <clears throat> Goodbye, fat gremlin. Hello, regen potion. Not bad. Sweeping beam for a little bit of AOE in the deck. I mean, there is a... There are, rather, a bunch of elites here that I'm actually quite capable of taking out at this point. Okay. Obviously, just use a regen potion here. Just easily I'll be able to pick up my 15 HP in this combat, which is nice. That's a really good hit. We're probably just looking to defend, basically, for all turns, unless we have Streamline in hand. That kind of seems the right tone. There we go. Yeah, this, this was an excellent combat. As soon as we draw that streamline, which is guaranteed to be our next stand, dead. Wax seal. Relics and shops <laughs> cost 20% less. Oh, of course. Uh, right click at a shop to activate. Borrow 100 gold at a curse of your deck until you pay it back. Uh, I could just take a reinforced body as like a good defensive card here. Log of Woolen also gets us the more jerky at the end of elite combats. Raise your max HP by four. Nice. Not only raises your max HP, but your current HP as well, right? Uh, do I care about having a lightning orb? Like, because the other relics are probably pretty good for us. Some of the modded relics are really bad for us, but eh, we'll go for it. Dark Rift, hell yeah! At the start of combat, add a random black card to your draw pile. Ah, carrot. Uh, you gain three focus at the start of combat. You lose one focus over the next three turns. Well, that's going to be less relevant for us, but still quite relevant. Come on, streamlines and kill. Defends us pretty well. Gets an enemy off the map. I'm good with it. So the best defense is convert all of your block into strength. Lose that strength at the end of your turn. That's, it's just not, it's not for us and not for this build right now. All right, and that's an easy sentry kill. Get myself four max HP as well. Toothbrush, gain three max HP whenever you remove a card from the deck. Extremely my kind of thing. Get your head out of the gutter. Uh, angry bot. Yeah. Black Plague, apply three poison, three necrotic poison. Uh, three languid and three decrepit. All right, I'm going to take three damage here in order to start my angry bot. So what is decrepit again? All damage from attacks is increased by three. Okay. So it's basically just every RTS uh, mod... Or a lot of the RTS mods as well as uh, Poison. Cool. Hit him again. Beautiful. Uh, Alright. Leap Compressor Aggregate. We'll take none of these. Don't want to add too many cards to our deck. Woo, Neural Network, hell yes. Draw two extra cards per turn. Yeah, it's really important I split them that turn, otherwise I'm definitely taking damage, but at the very least, I know that my next turn, yep, has Streamline, and with that Streamline, I was capable of taking over the world. Fell. Oh, fell sweet. No, I don't want any of these. 
Fine without him, thanks. Uh, two random cards got up. Eh, okay, cool headed. Not bad. A single beam cell would actually do well in this deck, but I kind of want to go for the card removal. Yeah. Get myself a little bit of max HP. Yes. Uh, so this fight's going to go a little bit longer. I'm not going to be splitting the slime boss before the first cycle. I mean... If we got a really early death's touch, I guess it's technically possible. I would have had to have gotten it that turn, I think, though. Because I need it in a different hand than... Than Streamlined! Okay! No, this is increasingly possible. It's not even enough to split them. Uh, and oh wait are we just straight up dead right now so i can get 10 uh 10 14 10 14 is 24 24 the incoming damage is 30 yeah well we're dead we are dead they just both decided to do big attacks aren't we wait what how'd i miss it okay why well, have a complete new lease on life Now we're dead. Sorry, I was just predicting the future. All right. We still haven't exited the first floor. That's a little bit sad. Just a little bit incredibly really sad and embarrassing. Just a little definitely all of those things. A lot of it is because I'm trying to, rather than just play to, you know, the kind of strengths of the defect in general, I'm trying to play to the different archetypes offered by different cards that are included in the game. Which can be a fun way to explore things and explore new content and things like that, but uh, oftentimes it will result in a lot of deaths. That's why, especially when I was trying to just, you know, find the win condition in literally every different card in the game, uh, I would play on lower ascensions because that kind of nutty stuff doesn't work as readily in higher ascensions. It's less forgiving, so you don't have so much time to put your build together. Uh, so I kind of need a speedrun builds right now, so I'm just going to take a streamline for the elites that I intend to kill. Hell, you know what? I'm going to go bash an iron core here. Bring the snake and deadly poison. No, bash iron core. Okay, so the Iron Core. At the start of combat, gain two orb slots if you have none, or channel one Hellfire otherwise. Uh, certain red and blue cards can now appear in future reward screens. Hellfire orbs at the start of your turn gain two strength until the end of your turn. When evoked, applies one vulnerable to a random enemy. So I'm going to now try and go for like a Hellfire build here. Hell fire. Consume? Yeah. I think that fits, right? Upgrade or lose strike. I kind of want to lose the strike. We've got another couple aggressive cards already in the deck. So consume. Yeah, it does upgrade the effect of Hellfire. Hell yeah. All right. I'm really happy to have consume in this deck now. Let's go. Chill Chaos Turbo. Probably none of these. Uh, we do want Consume Upgraded. That's just an extra point of strength for us right now. I know I'm taking 10 here, but I mean, this setup means that I only need one strike in the next hand in order to kill the backliner, and I don't have that many strikes in my deck. So because of that, I was capable of killing the backliner and then fully defending against the front line of this turn. It's important to kind of think a couple turns ahead if you can. Of course, that wasn't a couple. It was literally just one, but the point remains. Okay. So a strike will kill the back line right now. And front line is now dead to... Actually, literally just dead to the passage of time. Go lightning. 
symbiotic virus at the start of each combat channel one dark. Do I want that? Eh, probably. There's the carrot. That would actually be really, really, really powerful for us. Unfortunately, we can't afford it, but that's fine. It's fine. It's not like I'm mad about it. Uh, angry bot. That's really good, right? Having high strength and a bunch of zero cost attacks. Sure. Let's do that and then remove another strike. The boot. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase to five. So we have the claws, but we also have a hellfire channel to restart each combat, and we're likely not to evoke that. So for that reason, it feels like the boot's never going to do anything because I already have two strength. So I'll take the sapphire key. Damn, just take the hit here. I didn't want to go to the shop and miss out on... Well, not miss out. Miss out on the space literally to the left. Uh, so here, my goal is actually just leave that dark orb to grow for as long as I possibly can before I wake up the luck of all in. And also get the angry bot out, of course. Do I want the dark orb to grow or do I want to just have a huge hellfire? I'm going to go for the huge hellfire. Just eight strength. Just a low key eight strength right there. Zap is not good for this deck anymore. Because of the consume, I can't really have it coexist with the other damage plans. Enemies vulnerable. We should be able to collect lethal here. Yeah, easy. Uh, Ancient T set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy as well as search engine. Choose a card. Put three random cards at the same. Nope. Same cost from your draw pile into your hand. Okay, so I could bring out all of my zero costs, but my zero costs only... There's only a bunch of them after I've gotten angry bot early and then shuffled. So that's just not going to happen. I'm taking none of these. No! That was literally just a misclick. I was trying to play angry bot, defend, defend. So the incoming damage that turn is what? Seven, seven, eight, eight. So it's 16, it's 23. I hate that they're all attacking on turn one here. Lame, extremely lame. I was gonna go for another elite at the end of this floor, but obviously that's no longer available. Okay. <sighs> claw. Yes. Can we not almost die in normal combats here, please? Alright, well, we're still alive. Only just, though. Tentacle juice as well as self-repair. Hell yes. That should have been compressor. Can I reload the... I, I want compressor. Compressor and uh, consume is actually a combo that I've looked at before. And I was like, that's definitely what I want. Can only be played if you have four or less orb slots. Gain an orb slot. Oh my god. I could actually just straight up lose this fight. I'm going to throw the tentacle at the enemy there because I... Yeah. Enemy is about to kill me. Good lord. It feels like there was very little I could have done about that. Like, I was avoiding the elite to the very end there, but uh, this elite didn't even deal that much damage to me. It's the two fights afterwards, in fact, the three fights afterwards inclusive, uh, that really, really pounded it in. Obviously, I hadn't picked up any defensive cards yet, uh, and a lot of that was for fear of fighting the gremlin knob and being in a really, 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 really bad position there. Uh, I had cut only offensive cards from my deck, though. I still had my four defense initially. We just got really, really annoying attack patterns. Uh, obviously, this enemy was going to attack on the first two turns regardless, but a lot of the other enemies necessarily, or, or rather would not necessarily do that, and yet did. That said, it's okay. That just gives me time to do another defect run next episode. Until then, my name is Vin Rhapsody, the name of the game.
It's been Slay the Spire Modded. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. So there's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on the game, past, present, and future, as well as a link to a Steam Store workshop collection uh, of all of the mods that have been played in this series, past, present, and future, uh, if they are available on Steam Workshop. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.